This expedition is called Heaven and Hell, which was the curator's choice of title. And uh, I have to admit, when I first heard the title, I thought, wow, I don't like to be equated with hell. Now, on the other side, uh, I guess it's true that some of my photographs explore those transitional realms, which you could say are kind of post-earthly, a little bit into that zone beyond good and evil, I hope, and also beyond heaven and hell, and hopefully a little bit in the earth, but also beyond the earth. So, it's a selection of images which explores both street photography and also something which I call the organic surrealism of everyday life. Mm -hmm. When you are speaking about the organic surrealism of the everyday life, could you explain it a little bit more? Yeah, I, I think we all are conscious of certain moments of the conjunction of things that shouldn't really be conjoined. You know, we're walking down the street and we, we see an old woman that's pushing a, a baby carriage, uh, but it turns out the baby carriage doesn't have a baby in it, it has just a stack of old newspapers. And maybe on the other side there's a woman who's pushing an actual baby carriage that has a baby in it, and, and maybe you just happen to watch these two baby carriages slide past each other, and maybe in some sense you're thinking, wow, that would make a great photograph, except you didn't catch it, you didn't quite catch it, and, and I think we all have those moments, just whether you're a photographer or not, you're just aware of the strange conjunctions of things, and I try to be present for those, those moments, and of course I try the best I can to capture those moments in a photograph. Uh, of course there's many things that can interrupt that process, Sometimes, just behind that old woman with the baby carriage, there happens to be a McDonald's. And that element of the conjunction kind of destroys it as a poet, poetic image. It's a bit like reading a great poem, and then the waitress comes over and asks you, you know, what your next drink is. So you're basically not really able to enjoy the poem. You're not really able to capture that conjunction. I hope, in my good images, I've been present enough and lucky enough to capture those magical conjunctions and capture them in a way that now you can see them too. Uh, how do you capture these moments? Do you just walk around with your camera and... Or well, yes, I always have my camera. I mean, I don't take it in the shower, but that's pretty much the only time. Well, when I'm making love as well, I take it off. But generally speaking, I always have my camera with me because I don't know when those moments are going to arrive. So I try to be perpetually ready. Although it's become kind of a pet question that I ask photographers. I say to them, what's the best image that you didn't take? What's the best picture that you almost took? Because I think we all have those moments when we, we wanted to take the picture, but for various reasons we couldn't. Or it was out of focus. Or the light was very bad. Or the camera was out of batteries. Whatever reason, there's a billion reasons why a picture can't happen. And there's only that one chance that it will. So, what's your best picture? What's the picture you are most proud of and you are showing here? Well, I guess my personal favorite probably is Amri to London, the image of the girl, that's the first uh, picture in the series. And I guess because it was such an ordinary moment that it became extraordinary. And this great Czech poet, Holan, he actually says in one of his poems, my life was so extraordinary because it was so ordinary. And that's one of the things I really particularly love about that image, is that it's a very ordinary moment, a girl who's eating something outside of the cafe. And yet, for whatever reason, there's a transfiguration. And that image becomes something far larger than the moment in which I took the picture. It becomes far larger than her, far larger than me. And I think for me that is one of the things that I see as the role of art, to enlarge our moments. To enlarge our moments in such a way that they do become these soul fossils that we can then share with others.